everyone, welcome to this new series, Essentials of Technical Analysis. Let me first tell you all about this series. We have designed this series for all those who are new to technical analysis as well as for all those who want to learn more about it. At this point, let me mention in advance that the same series will also be available to you all in Hindi as well. Here is the outline of what we will be seeing in the upcoming sessions. We will begin with for whom is this module designed for. Then we will see what technical analysis is and how it will help us in trading. We will see about the patterns and charts and what do they represent. We will see basic tools used in technical analysis, support and resistance. Finally, we will summarize everything that we have learned. Let us begin with the first one. Who should attend these sessions? As mentioned, it is for beginners. We will try our best to keep it very simple, informative and interactive. Post comments if you need clarity on any specific topic. Also, you can join our telegram channel, discuss nifty for more trading related discussion and information. So these sessions are for all those who have been thinking about trading and stock markets and researching about it. For those who are trying to understand what those graphs or charts are and what information do they contain and convey. For those viewers who would like to know how to get started and be stable. These sessions should definitely be helpful to cultivate a strong foundation of technical analysis and to have a better clarity about the charts and what we plan and decide from those charts and how we can use these methods to start trading as well as become a better trader. These sessions will be beneficial to all those who have the basic idea about the terms and methodologies used in trading. Some of us might have already begun trading but are still unsure about how to move forward. Some of us might be doubtful about trading and some of us might have had bad experiences so not sure if you would like to continue. We as a team would like to welcome you all to these series and tutorial sessions. We will be helping you understand how we use technical analysis to make a trade and this series should be beneficial to all the newcomers in having good understanding and clarity on technical analysis. The second point is design or objectives. The aim of these sessions are designed to build solid understanding of technical analysis. We will provide basic information on strategies. We will see how this analysis can help an individual grow. We will also see how we can protect ourselves using technical analysis from the market that has highly experienced traders, softwares and processes that usually extract money from individual traders who do not have good experience. We will learn to understand charts and what information they have. We will see the most common tools like support and resistance. We will understand the trends that can help you make money. And lastly, we will learn about using patterns to make successful trading. And now let us see what technical analysis is. You might have seen the same definition everywhere. Let's directly see what it means. It is a technique or method to estimate or conclude the price direction using the past market data. Here the past market data is the historical data that is collected over a period of time and that period could be a day, a week, a month or a an year and that data is mainly price and volume. So technical analysis is a device that helps us understand how the market is moving and why is the market going up or down. And by observing this movement, we can analyze and conclude our own method, which is nothing but our strategy. We get to observe the data and check with the historical data and then plan what could be the best possible outcome next. And based on this data, we can take our decisions. Large volume of data is available to interpret the market movement. There are so many indicators that give us information to which we apply technical analysis and make our decisions. Technical analysis also covers the basic or news driven information. The news which comes about companies can also be used to take decisions. Warning visuals can also be analyzed and step back decisions can be considered after our trading plan or strategy or forecast price doesn't work well. So by now I think you have understood how important technical analysis is. 
Now let us see the beliefs about technical analysis. Some of the assumptions or beliefs about technical analysis include prices move in expected path which is nothing but the price direction. As it is a free market, the prices move in predictable direction. A free market is where the prices are determined by competition between privately owned businesses without any restrictions. This movement of price is continuous until it is interrupted. Therefore, we believe that the history repeats. We can check the past situations and we will find out that the movement is similar to the average of the movement in the past. So therefore, we believe the similar moves repeat. We believe that patterns exist and therefore the patterns of free market also repeat. We take decisions depending on visuals that we see. That is human nature. This type of analysis and decisions are not usually done by machines or programming or algorithms. We also believe that the prices are driven by human psychology. Fear and greed are the emotions that mainly drive the market and these emotions govern the price movement. Price action is a technique which helps the trader to study the market and make decisions depending upon the price movement and this technique incorporates everything. And now you will be able to recognize when to go in and out of a trade. You will understand when to and when not to take a position. All the above information is technical analysis. Let us see misbeliefs about technical analysis. Many people believe that technical analysis is a future prediction methodology, which actually is incorrect. Here, we only observe the past data, like information, patterns, volume, and indicators, and we use all this knowledge and then make a wise guess of what is going to happen. So, there is no prediction. We only make a calculated guess of most likely outcome of an activity or process or a situation that existed in the past. We don't do predictions, we do forecasts. What actually is a forecast? When we are in a state of confidence and are able to admit using technical analysis, the prices would go up but not down. This is called forecasting. It is not prediction. Prediction has no support, whereas forecast uses current market conditions, knowledge and experience and try to get to the most probable outcome. When we see similar patterns as we have seen in the past and that similar movements are said to be forecast based on the information and that is not just a guess, it's a calculated guess. Aptitude, education and groundwork are very important here. The market may move as expected or we can say in the direction of our forecast or it can move against our forecast. So we must have a plan of action that will help us in dealing with market conditions. Therefore, there is no speculation here. We are using present and past information and then taking action. Let us see some more about the forecasts. Imagine a cloudy day. You will be doubtful about the rain. Here. The state of cloudiness is usually not the deciding factor contributing to the rain. It depends on the type of cloud associated. A rain cloud is different from a non-rain cloud. Other factors contributing to rain are high pressure, low pressure changes, weather patterns originating from storms over the ocean. Stuffs like that can make it rain or it will make us wonder why it did not. This type of weather forecasting is similar in technical analysis. We will be doubtful almost all the time, like how we were about the weather on a cloudy day. That is why we need to observe the information and make calculated decisions. As said, weather forecasting is similar to technical analysis. We can say that it is imperfect. It will not give the same result always. So here, in order to do the technical analysis, we require a large amount of information and analysts which sound knowledge and experience the result would not be accurate but it will be the most likely outcome we check the similar situation that have taken place in the past and apply that information to conclude what will be the result in the present situation so the essence is simple we need information 
or data and experienced analyst these two shall give the most likely outcome that is going to happen there is an amazing similarity between weather forecasting and technical analysis the job of a meteorologist suits more accurately for the present slide let us study what and how the weather forecaster or meteorologist work something worth appreciating here at this point is it is incredible how the meteorologist forecast the weather because weather forecasting includes huge amount of data processing and interpretation and this data must be presented to the common people in a very simple way and this requires a lot of education to come to a conclusion and of course experience it is to be appreciated that we have predictive ability with good accuracy using technical analysis like we do for weather and here comes the important part the accuracy of it seems to degrade over time same day or the next two day forecast is usually more accurate but it is not so accurate if we are to forecast weather after 15 days this concept is very similar in technical analysis we have patterns that are more accurate in the short term compared to the long ones the confidence level is more in the short term patterns and it decreases in the long term patterns therefore technical analysis can be incorrect but we take the data and the most educated or calculated decision and that is it there is another amazing similarity between casino game and trading for those who do not have much idea on casino game blackjack is the name of a game of placing bets the crux of the game is collect the cards and check the combined card score and whoever has or whoever is more close to a total of 21 points wins the game point to notice here is it is just luck we do not have control over the cards and similarly we do not have any control over the prices in the market now comes the card counting to save us like technical analysis so each card is given a point some of them has zero some have plus 1 and some have minus 1 value so when we add all the values of these cards that we have we will be in a position to take the next step by observing what could be the next drawn card suppose if we have many number cards then the probability of drawing the face card is more by noticing this we will be in a state to expect the next outcome with better accuracy and we can plan and take better decisions which are not just random ones now we get the chance of adjustments we can adjust the risk of losing and also safeguarding ourselves which is nothing but taking better decision so what do we notice from the similarities between technical analysis and counting cards they both help us from risk this is not at all prediction it is just benefiting us from the known probability by helping us make an informed decision here comes the interesting part how does the trader or analyst make money let me tell you beforehand it is not as simple as buying low selling high and sell high and cover low if it was so simple we would automate the process by machines or software of course there are algorithms machines and softwares they all do exist but it is difficult thing it might just help the financial data that we have at our disposal is very unclear it is confusing and cloudy the movement of securities price plotted over time which is nothing but the price action should not be the only tool to make trade decisions technical analysis is different for different individuals different analysts can make different decisions depending upon what they notice it is easy to write a code to get a particular output when we have defined inputs but it is very difficult to incorporate experience and subject knowledge into a code therefore we can say technical analysis is science which is mathematics a little bit of calculations combined with art so machine can understand science but not art the conclusion on making money is simple it is combination of art and science to make trade decisions let us now see what knowledge we can extract from the charts we all know that charts tell us about the prices what trend are they following higher highs higher lows etc and from this we can get profit by making calculated jumps from one point to other we can recognize trends and what patterns are they following 
we can get to notice the support levels. The best thing about charts is it confirms the movement of trends and whenever they have changed, we get to know it right then. So depending upon the trends, we can make informed decisions. The charts provide us with information that helps us enter and exit a trade and therefore you can develop your trade plan or strategy. Things must be moving in the direction of the path you have in mind, but if you are wrong, the direction looks different. You right then will realize that your analysis was incorrect and at that moment you can get out of the trade with minimum loss. Then you wait and start the next trade another day. Therefore, the information provided by charts is very useful if analyzed properly. I guess we all get this question in our mind that why should we trust technical analysis? Let's begin this with the example of supply and demand. We know that the main deciding parameter here is price, which is the summation of everything in the market. For everyone buying or selling, the only thing that matters is price. As it is the summation of everything, which includes news, fear, greed, technical information, everything. It can never be random. The next thing that we already know is history repeats. If we have a pattern that is repeating, we can be sure that it will happen again. We also know that trends and patterns repeat. We can apply the knowledge that we see on a particular time frame and it can be used on a monthly time frame too. We will notice that they all follow the same rules. And the other thing is that the market operates on feedback loops. We give some feedback depending upon that it responds. If the market is bullish, we are going to be happy, we tell others and they are going to be excited because they want to make money. They will put money into the market. So now the market is going to go up because there are more buyers and this process continues. That is feedback loop. If the market is bearish, we start to feel fear. We sell stocks and tell others to sell it too. Now the market that was going to drop and as it is given a boost, everyone now is selling stocks. We will feel confident that we made the right decision which was spreading more fear. This is feedback loop. Ultimately, we can say that we can use technical analysis to make amazing trade decisions. So in the end, let us never forget that the price is the only thing that you should be anxious about. So let us conclude this session with its essence or summary. We have seen basic introduction on technical analysis. We learned that it is a tool that allows us to gather price information, learn about patterns and trends, and we take all this data and we cultivate a trading strategy. We identify a pattern and create a trading plan. We use the strategy and the information to manage the risk and also to enter and exit a trade. And now we recognize if it goes against us and use stop losses to avoid losses and keep trading consistency. This was the crux or summary of the session. In the next few sessions, we will enter deeper into the key aspects of technical analysis. I hope you have found these sessions educational and informative. Share this knowledge if you think so. Happy trading everyone. Thank you for watching. Please post any questions you have in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. To find us on Twitter, Telegram and Facebook, use the username NiftyBM. Also, we post some of our trades to the community tab. So do not forget to check that from time to time.